Good morning guys, Lillian with Lily Ray's collection. Today we are going, to, I am going to uh, paint my furry friend. Um, I have two cats, one is uh, Bella, which she looks like this, but her coat is more brown than orange. Um, she does have an underbelly of uh, red. And then the second one is um, Coco Bella. And Coco Bella is a Russian blue. And um, we found that out because we bought this book that was on sale. I think it was um, in uh, Hobby Lobby. And it was like for $5. It was the last one. So I got lucky. Now, this is more like my Bella right there. And so Coco is like this one here, which you can see better right here. Isn't she beautiful? She's so beautiful. This is her here. Now uh, I'm going to just use this as a guide to um, start coloring her in. I started last night and then I stopped myself and said, you know, I only did an underpainting. Um, but I'll show you what I use to do that underpainting. So um, let's get started. I'm going to keep it on this page because I, I want to get the fur. Um, she is pretty light. And I'm going to use this as a reference for the shadows and the mid-tones and the dark, dark tones. So I'll just set it aside here. This is how I drew her sitting up. And um, I, this is uh, 24 pound paper. I used my um, Derwent light wash sketch pencil, and these are water soluble. I have, um, they come four in a pack, and they are water soluble. So that is fantastic because it just blends when you, when you uh, color it. it, they blend right in as much as you want or as little as you want. So um, here she is. This is my Coco Bella because she's a Russian blue. I read the details. Um, she does have a blue undercoat. Um, so I decided to use my uh, vintage pastel from Prima watercolor. And I'm gonna be using that along with some of my um, Carbothello uh, chalk pencils, or rather pastel pencils. So this is the range of colors that I'm gonna use. I try to match the palette as best I could. I'll take this one out. This one's also water soluble, and this one is uh, this one is color tint by Spectrum Spectrum Noir, and the rest are duets. Okay. I'll try and list everything below. I always forget. Uh, I'm very lazy when it comes to that, listing items. Um, so I'm going to use these, and um, these are water soluble. So that's going to be um, the final touches. Um, I also have a credit card scraper, which I want to do for the hair, but I, but I have to have enough um, product down in order for that to work. So, and it has to be wet when you're doing that. Um, compliments of the Fugal Crafter. Um, let's see. What else do I need to say? I don't think anything else. I added the ball of yarns. I may add something over here so that your eye goes around like that or like this. Um, but for now, let's get started with... I also have my... Uh, bucket of water I'll try not to reach over so I'm gonna just put it on this side okay and let me pinch this over here so it doesn't interfere Also have um, this black. 
So I'm going to, um, I think I want to do another coat of the blue. Yeah, I'm going to do another coat of blue. So, this does take time. So, while I do the undercoat, I'm going to put it on, um, on uh, time lapse. All right. This is my finished art piece. Um, I used, I decided to use, well, I started out with watercolor, as you know. Um, I didn't uh, record the pastel portion of it um, because uh, I just, it was taking really long. I wasn't happy with the watercolor the way it turned out. Um, so I decided to use my pan pastels, which are these here. I use these two colors and also the white. I use this applicator to put, put it down. And surprisingly, this is, um, 140 pound watercolor paper, uh, Fabriano and um the pastel took i wasn't sure i was experimenting to see if it would take if it would stay down or just push it around but it stayed then i took a stencil and just did the wire in the back and hung a little flower from it and then i gave her a little collar and then this is just on the end of that uh, yarn ball and then these are the stoppers for the yarn balls and um, I used this gold here, and that one is um, pearlescent. I put it on the background. I didn't make it too dark, but, um, and then I stamped uh, God Bless America. Hopefully 2021 is going to be a fabulous year. So guys, if you have any uh, questions or comments, please leave them down below. And um, I will see you uh, in my next portrait. Take care and thank you for joining me.